Hey guys, it's Bill. Now we're going to go over the engine bay, interior, and trunk of this 1981 Eldorado Barretts with 46,000 miles. Now this is a two-owner car that I bought locally here in Myrtle Beach from a family that I know. The car has been extremely well preserved. It has the, di uh, the digital electronic fuel injection with the 468 engine in it. And this 6 liter, it's a 6 liter, but the 468 on this car works absolutely perfectly. The computer screen on the dash, when we do for the, when we do the driving video, we'll show you it switches from four to six to eight. A lot of people like that feature, some people don't. Um, if you wanna unhook it, I read on the internet, there's a way, it's like one little plug somewhere that you unplug and it stays as an eight cylinder the entire time. However, if you wanna keep it original, like the car is, leave it like it is, it works, it works perfect and functions, functions properly. And just take a look at the engine, how clean everything looks, super clean, not dirty, grimy, corroded or crusty or anything like that. You can tell that the previous owner took very, very well good care of it. Let's walk around to the passenger side here. I like Christian to fill up under the bottom of these doors and the door jams. There's no rust on this car. I'm very picky with my car when I buy them. If I see any kind of sign of rust, I stay away. The bottom flat parts of these doors is all clean and great condition. Kick panels look great. So Christian, while you're down that low, let's get the let's get the carpets. Look how nice the carpets are. Super clean, original. The floor mats are in great shape. Let me pull this. Get, let me get to your uh, to your left. I'm gonna pull the carpet up, or the actually the um, floor mat, so you can see the original carpet underneath is exactly clean and perfect, like that all throughout the whole car. All the faux wood grain looks good. The dash is clean. Headliners in great shape. There's no cracks or. Or, uh, or anything in the in the dash. Now this car has bucket seats. I've had a lot of ca Cadillac Eldorados over the years, but I've never seen one with true bucket seats. So rare option, I'm not sure, but it's on the build sheet, I believe. So you can tell that it's definitely a factory factory option. Again, door panels clean, all the wood, all, everything that you touch is still in really good condition looking at the back of the seat or behind the back seat area. Again, carpets, perfect, clean, no stains. Car smells good, doesn't appear to have been smoked in. All the rubbers around the doors, all this, uh, these are all soft. The window trim is soft. And even these, and these are, these are original, they're not replaced, but they're very soft and supple. A lot of times they get extremely dry and cracked. These are not like that, very clean. Coming around to the trunk. The uh, rubber on the trunk is very soft and very clean. It looks really good. Very plush, thick carpet in the trunk. Have some uh, service manuals in the back. A build sheet, which is nice. And I believe on the build sheet, it talks about the uh, bucket seats. It shows as an option, I believe, here somewhere. But I'm just curious as to how many actually have bucket seats. I've just never seen that on the Eldorado. Now, let me show you how the uh, operation of the trunk works. Because you, as you guys know, it has the automatic power closing trunk. Just gently touch it. Coming around to the driver's side. Again, concentrate on the door jams. That tells a lot of the story of the car as far as the condition of the rest of the car. As far as not having any rust or rot or you know crud on the door jams up under the doors, none of that stuff. Rubbers on this side are also in very good and pristine condition. Door panels on this side are also good. Dash is good, no cracks. And look, I mean, look at this, for a 40,000 mile car, look, I mean, the, the, the leather's held up tremendously well, it hasn't been dyed or redone, this is just original, the top of the steering wheel. Sometimes from jewelry, from men or women wearing rings will get all scratched up. This is perfect, it's super clean, it's still tight on top. Look at the miles, 46,000. All the detail work on the dash is all still good and clean and in great condition. And then we'll go to the, let me scoot to your left, Chris. Open this back up, or pull the seat back, or back. Back seats, they don't look like they've even been sat in. So we'll wrap this up. We're gonna do the uh, exterior walk around video very shortly, as well as a driving video. I want you guys to see that the four, six, eight, six, four, or four, six, eight, whatever you wanna say, you've got the V, you got on the, on the, um, on the quarter panel, it says six, V8, and then six and four to left. So, I don't know if it's four six eight eight six four six four eight. However you want to say it, it's got that feature. It's pretty cool. It's kind of ahead of its time. It was it was meant to save gas, a few, you know, get better fuel mileage. Which I mean, you know, whoever buys this car, I'm sure fuel mileage is not a factor. 
I do know a lot of guys just unplug that system and drive it at, in the full V8 mode the whole time. And if you put your foot on it and you step on it, it's going to be full V8 the whole time anyway. So it was just designed on highway cruising to cut you, your cylinders back to save you on fuel mileage. So cars on bring a trailer, bid all you can. It's a great car. Shouldn't be a ton of money. Great way to get into the collector car hobby um, and get lots of thumbs up. 81 uh, Eldorado is a one year only grill for that style. A lot of people like that. So we'll go over the outside of the car here shortly. So let's wrap this up. Bid all you can. Good luck. Any questions, put them in the comment section. Thanks, guys.